Hello, I've got a good one for you guys today. Um, freeze panes is is great, especially you know when someone else is looking at your workbook or when you're trying to work with you know non financial teams and just to make it easy for people. Like where I'm scrolling down here, I'm looking at a PNL and you know which one of these is actual, which one of these is budget. Um, you know so. If you're not familiar with freeze panes, what you want to do is you want to select the cell where you want the freeze to occur. And then in the view tab, there is this freeze panes and you'll select that first option. And then as you scroll down here, you know, it's okay. Well, like for water, you know, our actuals are, are running $500 over our budget. So you can just freeze certain parts of the workbook so let's just say i've got a bunch of locations and i want to be able to do that you know to all of these tabs so you would think it'd be easy right you can hold down the shift key and then when you're on the leftmost or the rightmost select the other end and, and you'll select all of the tabs and then when you hit that cell now you can see i'm in that cell you know, E5 on every one of these tabs. And I'll go ahead, freeze panes with all these selected and it, it looks like it worked, right? So go check location two and it, well, it didn't actually work. It just did it on that location three. So let's just pretend you've got, you know, tens or hundreds of um, these reports, that's, that's going to take some time. So luckily there's an easy solution, an easy macro that you can write. So you can enable the developer tab, go into visual basic. And we can write a quick macro. So all macros start with sub, and then you give your macro a name. So we'll call it freeze all. And then you always have to do an open and close parentheses. It'll automatically insert that in sub. So what we want to do is we want to create a dimension. So that's DIM. And then we're going to use SH uh, to mean sheet. So we don't have to type out sheet a bunch of times. And we'll say dimension SH is a worksheet. And then we will need to create a loop to go through each tab here sequentially. So we'll say for each SH, which is worksheet, in this workbook that worksheets, we'll say with the sheet, we'll dot activate to select that sheet, and then we'll do dot range a one dot activate just to make sure it activates the cell and then we need to determine where do we want to freeze the panes so we can see you know this e6 is where we want to freeze the panes that's the cell that we need to activate before we freeze the panes so i'll say dot range E6 dot, oops, dot activate. And now we can end the width and we can say active window dot freeze panes equals true. And then we will just go to the next sheet and that'll be it. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit the play button here to run our macro. And now the moment of truth, we can see on location three, we are actually frozen in those panes. We can always see the header, location two, we can always see the header and location one, we can always see the header. So another quick, simple macro that can save you a lot of time depending on what you're doing.